Let's go over this MCAT biochem problem. During fasting, which enzyme is primarily responsible for directing pyruvate toward gluconeogenesis? I like to start these questions by eliminating our wrong answer choices, so I'm going to look for the enzymes that are not involved in gluconeogenesis and try to cross them out. So A says pyruvate dehydrogenase, and pyruvate dehydrogenase is the enzyme that converts pyruvate to acetyl-CoA before the start of the TCA cycle. So we can see this enzyme is not related to gluconeogenesis. Next, we have phosphofructokinase 1, and PFK1 is actually the rate-limiting step of glycolysis, so this is the opposite process of gluconeogenesis. So for that reason, PFK1 is also wrong. Lastly, we're left with pyruvate carboxylase and glucose 6-phosphatase. These enzymes are both involved in gluconeogenesis, but we have to look for the one that acts on pyruvate. Glucose 6-phosphatase is actually the last step of gluconeogenesis, and it takes the phosphate off of glucose so that it can leave the cell, whereas pyruvate carboxylase is the first step of gluconeogenesis, and it converts pyruvate to oxaloacetate so that it can enter gluconeogenesis. So through that, we can see that C is our correct answer. And then you can also review our flashcards to see the key differences between glycolysis and gluconeogenesis.